Here's a tire that's been overinflated. Now, what's happened is, you can see there's actually addition to tires because the center of the tire is now worn out, but there's treads on either side of the tire. Now, the tire actually has a pressure rating on it, and you never exceed the pressure rating on the tire. So there's a, actually an area where it tells you the maximum pressure of the tire. And when we say maximum pressure, that would be like cold tire. You never go above that pressure. Manufacturers on their placards on the car, it might be on the driver's door jam. Modern cars have the placard on the driver's door jam or on the frame at the, the rear edge of the driver's door. And they suggest a pressure that's according to what they feel would be the best handling pressure for the car that you have. So there's two tire pressure ratings. One is they can't exceed a pressure rating that's on the tire. And the other is the placard that the manufacturer gives you to actually adjust the pressure for the ride characteristics that the, the uh, manufacturer would like you to have, would like the car to perform. The P. The P is actually stands for a passenger car, okay? Now when we say passenger car, that goes actually, P can stand up for a passenger car or a vehicle that's under a half ton. So when we say a P, we could use a P on a pickup truck, a half ton pickup truck. That's kind of your town truck, your daily driver. That'd give you a nice softer ride, but wouldn't be able to carry the weight of a, a real truck tire. T on the first digit, Letter there would be a temporary spare. So T would indicate a temporary spare. LT is a light truck. A light truck, when we talk about a light truck, we're talking about a three quarter ton to a one ton truck. LT stands for that. And that would be a, tr a tire that could carry more weight and be more of a working tire. ST is a special trailer tire. Now, an ST tire should never be used on a vehicle as a, a running tire out of here. Now at the end of the dimensions, if it says LT, that's a heavy cargo or an off-road tire. LT at the end, at the end. C at the end means it's a commercial tire or again, a heavy duty tire. C at the end. The R, the R stands for the type of tire, the, the, how the tire is built. R stands for a radial construction. Radial construction uh, in the tire is actually as though there's a center line to the tire and the belts radiate out from the center line of the tire. That's an R tire. Most tires today, 98% of the tires made today are radial tires. D, if there's a D instead of an R, that's a bias ply tire. In a bias ply tire, the cords are in a diagonal fashion, like a mesh. If there was a B in the, in the uh, marking, then it would be a belted tire. And these are pretty much non-existent. And that was, was a belt that went around the outside of the tire. And the belted tires were real trouble. They didn't last long and they went bad pretty, pretty fast. And they've been eliminated from public use. Now we have the last digits at the end. We have the 87S, and the 87 stands for the load index, or how much weight this vehicle can carry. The load index starts at about 71, and works its way all the way to about 90 on the passenger tire. So, so, so you can see that an 87, on this digit, 87 shows out to be 1,201 pounds. And that's with the, the, the air pressure and everything correct. The S is actually stands is where the speed rating is. And speed ratings work like this. They start in an alphabet, low alphabet, and they go up to a high alphabet. And then what happened was they decided that the, years ago, they felt that the fastest cars would ever go would be a Z-rated tire. So to, so what they did, they went, they jumped the alphabet and they went all the way to Z and said, okay, Z rated tires, these are the fastest these cars are gonna go. James Bond, and it's 007, 149 miles per hour and above. 
But as the cars, the supercars evolved, they realized they would have to change the ratings. And then they brought up the W rating is 168 miles per hour. Y rating is 168, 186 miles per hour. And then the Y with parentheses is 186 plus. And that's the speed rating. On the tire, we're going to see traction numbers. AA. AA is the best traction. So when we talk about traction, we're going to talk about how many G's this car before the tires will break away. We're talking about dry pavement. So that, and, then, and then we're talking about a car, car with conventional alignment. Race cars have more of a, an aggressive alignment, and they can actually, actually hold more G's. So this is the tire. AA is rated at 0.54 G's. A, which is good, is 0.47 G's. B is fair, that's 0.38 G's. And C is poor, that's a 0.26 G's. And that's actually the traction number. Temperature, temperature resistance. Now, the rubber is actually going to be resistant to temperature. And that's important, because if you're in cold climate, you want to have a C. But if you're in Arizona, you want to have an A-rated tire. B would be a moderate climate. So when you, in the Midwest, let's say. Tread wear numbers. Now that's interesting. So they actually figured out, manufacturers figure out how much, how long this tire, car will, this tire will work for you. Now a track tire, now that's a real gumbo, real soft, sticky tire. That's like sneakers, put sneakers on your car. That has a tre tread wear rating of as 60. Now that tire might only be good for two or three track sessions. So it's going to wear out pretty quick. So you can see that it's 200, 300, 400. And that would be 30, 40, and 60,000 mile tires. And that's your tread wear number. So that's important. Because here's what's important about it. If you got your Miata, and you're going to go out and you buy this 400, 60,000 mile tire, and you're only going to drive this car on weekends and an occasional driver, you'll never put enough miles on it because tires are only meant to last four years. So in four years, and if you don't put 60,000 miles, you're going to actually wind up buying new tires before you can wear them out. So if you have a, a car that you don't drive much, it's your Sunday driver, you're probably going to, and you want that performance out of your Miata, you probably want to go with that 200 wear rating. But if you're a daily driver, you might go with that 300 wear rating. On the tires of manufacturer's date, and this is the born on date, the first two digits are the week. So this tire was born in the 37th week of 05. Like I say, tires, the manufacturer only guarantees the tires to hold air for four years. So after that, tires are suspect. I think we've talked a lot about tires here, and now I'd like to show you a couple tire, different tire problems. One is what they call a separated tire. You can see over here that we've got a couple examples of a separated tire. You can see a tire that's beginning to separate right here. Actually, this is an old tire, and it's weather checked. You know, when the tires get old, they actually crack like an, you know, like an old man's hand. And this tire is starting to come apart. This tire is actually separated. You can see that tire separated. Now, if this tire was on your car, and it was in the front of the car, you would fear it in the steering wheel. It'd go, oh, no, you'd go, oh, what the heck is that? What's going on? But if this tire was in the back of the car, that would be actually under you, you'd feel it in the seat of the car. And the floorboard, you'd feel something's going on there. This is a tire that shows a poor alignment. The inner edge of the tire is worn out. The outer edge still has tread, the inner edge is worn out. So that's an alignment problem. So if you see that happening to your tires, your tires wearing out prematurely, you know that when you do replace your tires, you're going to need an alignment. Hey, thanks a lot for listening to these videos, and I hope we all learned a little bit about tires today. And we'll see you next time around.